a creepy basement. Welcome back to Alan Wake 2, everybody. We're checking out the creepy basement now that is in the hideout of the cult. It sounds like there's somebody behind the door. So let's take a look. Hey! Freeze! That should eat your mind. Was that the cops? That's the clicker. I don't trust it. No! They took it! They're they took it. Me. I was so close. Get the clicker from Mulligan and Thornton. So that was Mulligan and Thornton. Okay. Alright, let's go over here. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like ilk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. A forest. The word. A secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader. So there's more than one leader. Um, I feel like that one cop is too dumb to be a part of the cult. Like, he was pretty dumb. Okay, cultist room hidden beneath Ilmo's motorcycle club. Okay, so that would be... Uh, who's involved? Oh, okay. Ilmo and Yako. Koskello. Highly unlikely the club would have a secret cult room below it without Koskello's knowing. Yep. Okay, Trail of the Cult. Got a couple things here. Okay. Clicker was taken from the altar. The clicker was there the whole time. Fucking Mulligan and Thornton. Yeah. Them bastards. Secret meeting room under the garage. Okay, this is the cult of, is this is the cult of the trees headquarters. Story. Okay, so that's for later. So, I believe that's it. Yep, okay, let's go. They took the clicker into the overlap. How do I get it back? Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, it's a page. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an oh. overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Okay, well, so a light nightingale. So the, the shut up. And a parade you, float is the key. You done yet? So I was getting ready to say, the parade float is what we're gonna need to go and figure out next. I think that there is gonna be a mask that we have to put on it. That might be the last thing, but we'll see. Saga had read about it, the trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick. But the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there. Taken the clicker with them left this monster here to stop her so we've got another thing on the deputies here becoming taken mulligan and thornton were fine earlier how did this happen a terrible mistake shadows crept over mulligan and thornton shadows on their faces filling the shape of them bright falls fucking finest Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. So, was that before or after we met them? Because I had assumed that it was before and they the just... The is upstairs. Knew. This was a trap. Oh, great. Oh, great. What's going to happen? 
Oh, I'm in the light, so they can't do anything to me. Okay. I'm going to save it real quick. And then our shotgun's out, so that's good. Where you at, buddy? Okay, so they blocked me off there. Where are you? Come out and click. Play! Just kidding! Oh. <laughs> Where's that parade float? Oh, it's right out there. Oh my gosh, it scared the piss out of me. <laughs> I was not ready for that at all. I mean, there's the parade float. Is this the parade float the page mentioned? It would make sense. See, it says... It says mask right there. So we've gotten the knife, we've gotten the stabbing motion, we've gotten that. I believe the only thing left is... Wait. What's this? Oh, another page. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem and the heart to the witch sign, open the overlap. Here, nice. it's a parade float. Okay. But it's incomplete. Yeah. We're gonna have to... Get the mask, I'm sure. There's something right there. Let's take a look at this first real quick. The Cascala's parade Ilmo float. stood in front of the parade float. Turned dramatically to his crew. Now, imagine the murderer's arms moving. Stab, 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 and then Naki laughing. Everyone at Deerfest always plays it safe, not us. This monument to Watery's history, this work of art will sweep this year's awards. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. So art was the key. Obviously, that's just talking about this, but was there something else here? So this is the Coscula Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask yeah. is the only one without a location listed. Of course it is. Hmm. Gift shop. Easy. So we've already gotten that one, the Puko, the gift shop. I can't make out what it says. Yeah, there's no way to really see that. Espresso Express. Got I've it. Already gotten that one. And Dark the cassette tape. Zone. Okay, so we've already gotten all those. Okay, let's go over here to the case board. Uh, Trail of the Cult. Okay, so put all these up here. So we know all of this stuff. Parade Flood has sounds. Characters should be moving. We've gotten that. This one here. The moose skull mask. Why scratch it out? Maybe someone doesn't want me to find the thing. Okay. So then we've got this here. The moose skull mask. The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never felt to amuse me. No, we know, Ilmo. There is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the moose skull mask is. Okay, so they're talking about the... Uh, Mulligan and Thornton were responsible for the moose skull. Um, so they're talking about what's missing from the parade float, the moose, I put it together. Wait, is there still something there? It said, oh, is there more? Okay. Yeah. The moose skull mask. The mask is missing. 
Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Most mistake is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done! They know where it is. I know they know. Where is the mask? Go ahead and bleach it. We all bow to him. The mark of the crumbling well. Show the bitch who's mark! The moose mask is at the Huatari well. In Coffee World. Okay. Yeah, the car crumbling... I saw something. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. The well here in Coffee World. I know it's the right moose skull will be there. Okay. Gotta be prepared for something crazy to happen. Okay. Now I need to bring the mask to the float. Okay. That well, wasn't so bad. Seemed to kind of guided us right to it, but that's okay. I thought it was going to be like one of those types of masks. And finally, the moose skull. Okay, Saga. Let's get the clicker from these assholes. Oh, let's get the clicker from the asshole. Okay. Let's get down this well, I guess. You went down a well. Obviously, you're in the well. Why wouldn't you know that, Saga? You're smarter than that. You figured out where the moose skull mask was without even doing anything but thinking. But you can't figure out, okay, maybe we're not in a well. Okay, maybe you do have a valid point. Um, cool. It worked. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, we... No clue where we're at. Creepy cabin. Hello? It's another manuscript page. We're getting a lot of those now. No! Act like a real person. Come on. There you go. Okay. Deputies in the morgue. Mulligan and Thornton in the wreckage of the morgue, shadows on their faces. Thornton did his best woman's voice. I'm a stuck-up FBI bitch. I'll make a big fucking mess and get these dumb backwater cops to clean it up. Thornton turned to his partner. These government motherfuckers. Next time, Mulligan, I'll tell her. You got no clue. You let your own kid drown. You're a fucking fraud. Mulligan leered. Pinning the murder on the bookers would have fixed this whole goddamn mess. But their kind always sticks together. I reckon we should show the bitch who's boss, Thornton. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Inside them, they grinned. So, did it happen after what happened in the morgue, I guess? That's what I'm kind of taking from that. Um, but I'm not really, I'm not really sure. That's what I believe, that's what I believe. Anyway, let's continue on here. Okay, let's get through here. Oh, wait. This is the sauna. This is the sauna from from Watery, right? This is the same type of house. Like sauna house. Is there anything back here? Yeah, just a boat. Yeah, cause here's the dock. But the lighthouse would be over that way, right? If it was the same house. Okay. 
Okay, I heard you. Come out, come out wherever you are. So they're also talking about my Arasaga's daughter drowning. Which is part of the story, but it's not part of her reality, so... So are we we're gonna have to probably fight these two. That would be my guess. It's cold. I'm tired. Logan? Logan! I'm here! Let's go. Logan! The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. Okay, wait. So are we back in the same spot? This looks identical. Anderson, the trick. He has it now. Wake? I saw him this way in the other overlap. Okay. Okay. It's a loop. Just like before. All right, so we're stuck in this loop now. Let's see what's changed. Okay, there's something here, another manuscript page. Mocha's funeral. So that's the moose. I'm gonna go inside, see if anything in here's changed, and we'll read that page. Ilma Koskela stood in front of the small gathering of Coffee World employees and bikers. He read from a piece of paper. Mocha was a wonderful moose who deserves a place of honor in the Hall of the Calavella Knights. His skull will become the crown of the Grand Master. The dead brought back to life. There was polite applause. After the service, Ilmo had the body hauled off to be turned into moose steaks. Mulligan and Thornton were told to get the head cleaned. They both grabbed an antler. What the hell, Thornton? I got it, Mulligan. They brought the skull into the workshop to boil it and bleach it. They grumbled. Wanted to just get it fucking done. It was just a stupid animal. But I guess moose steak is never a mistake, huh? Okay, so that's where their whole narrative came from. Okay, so we've got some more of these. Let me look here. Increases reload speed for the shotgun. Um, deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Killed an enemy to restore health. Um... Pistols increases. Oh, we already got that one. Okay. Our, the pistol really kind of sucks, but it doesn't really look like there's anything to make it better. Hold the fire button to draw the crossbow further than. Uh, bolts such enemies will attract bullets firing. It. Let's do this one here. Saga strained to pull the string of the crossbow back as far as she could. To her surprise, the latch adjusted to accommodate her. The next bolt would stop a monster. Okay, so I'm going to hopefully be able to use this crossbow here in a bit, see if I can pull that back a little bit further, get a little bit more damage, like that good damage. So are we just going to be stuck in this loop, or are we going to be approached by somebody this time? There's nobody talking now. Oh, somebody was right there, somebody's face. Couldn't really make out who that was, maybe Scratch? Okay, so we can go back down in the well again. I'm going to look around here first, see if there's anything. There's probably not going to be. This is probably going to open up right there. Oh, maybe not. Or maybe, who knows. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Alright, let's go back down. Jeez. Oh. I can't get through that. I need to look for another way through. Scared me. So it did open up back here. Is that the Koskelas singing? Kind of sounds like him. <laughs> Was this like a dance? What is going on? Come 
Collins campsite here. Alright, the music just stopped. Well, kinda. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Okay. Do I need to go back? Where you at? Get wrecked, boy. Really jumpy today. Okay, so if you just hold the trigger longer, it pulls it back further and does more damage. That's nice. That's real nice. Oh! Oh! Shot the mask off of him. Oh, jeez. Kind of messed him up there. Okay, where do I need to go? Into the cave? What is going on? There's the laughing from the float. Wait, can we go down now? Like it. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, so now the floor is bloody. Trapped? How? Trapped. What does that mean? Oh, the lake is full of blood. Turn that music off. Okay, let's look inside again. Still nothing. Okay. What's that noise? I don't like it. Oh. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay, I don't need to use the shoebox. There's no save point, but that's okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Wait, what? You got a you got a gun? Holy crap. Oh my gosh. They're actually damaging me. Oh, jeez. Okay, 
I need to, um... What the hell, Fortune? Couple of them. Okay, we're gonna have to do that. And get rid of them while we're uh, while we're getting rid of all these things. Nope. Those pieces of darkness keep bringing the deputies back. Okay, there's more. There we go. Yeah, I know that. I know that. But where's the other ones? Oh. Next time they won't be coming back. There we go. A shotgun. Come on. Jeez. Oh, you little jerk. Come here. Jeez, dude. Saga Anderson, listen. Wake. I I've been tricked. Scratch room. I tried to fix the story, but Saga has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean? Escape. You're already out. So is Scratch. Celebrate. 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 making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. You know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Are these visions coming from the past, when he was still trapped in the dark place? I have the clicker. I can stop this nightmare. All right. Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls to Casey okay. and Wake. So we need to get I back to Bright Falls. with Casey. Falls. Okay. So it said case closed. So we closed this case here. I uh, believe so. Case closed. Where would this go? There we go. I need to get the clicker to Wake and close this damn case before my family gets dragged any further into it. Okay. So then we've got the story. I entered the watery overlap by completing the parade float. The overlap. Float was about a murder. The specific content of the art seems significant. Then these are for later. Okay, cool. All right, so. We need to get back to Watery, which means we need to get to downtown, to our car. So if we just come down this way and go here, should be good. Before I do that though, um, there are like this locked, well, there's a locked door there. 
and there was a container here that was locked as well. But we got... There's a cult stash here. I never got that. I'm going to go search around for this stuff, and then I'll bring you guys back if there's anything interesting. Come on, Casey. No answer. David. This is David. Leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Why isn't David answering? Is Logan all right? How does this all work? Has the horror story already gotten her? Wake should know. The flooding's lowered. I should look around, see what the water was hiding. Okay, cool. That's good. So, there was a cult stash back here. The flooding is now lowered, which is good. Another locked box. Okay, let's see here. Can we just use the uh, screwdriver? No? There's no... We're probably going to have to find a key around here somewhere. So I'm going to search for that. Oh, there's a lock here as well. Let's see. Yeah, let's use the screwdriver on it. Nice. There we go. See, that's what I'm thinking that we can do with a lighthouse as well. Use that to break into it. So, yeah. What can we find here? Shotgun ammo? That's good. We were running low. Computer. Okay, let's uh, um, start at the bottom here. Mr. Skarsgård, thank you for your proposal. Starlight Symphony sounds like a wonderful project and a very creative idea. However, our publishing house will unfortunately have to decline at this time. We wish you all the best in the future. Keep dreaming. Best regards, William Portman. The keys. Okay, hey, I moved the keys somewhere. The flooding can't wash them away. The spot might be a bit harder to reach, but I'm sure you can get your hands on them just fine, Tony. So someplace where the flooding can't wash them away. So it would be somewhere different than down here. Megan, just let me know you're okay. Please, I miss you. I don't need to know where you are. Just that you're okay. Just reply to me. You owe me that much. Okay, so something... The keys being somewhere that the flooding can't reach them. So maybe on top of something... Instead of just, you know, in a different trailer. Somewhere the flooding can't reach them. Oh, right here. There we go. Alright, well that was easy enough. Let's get in here. There we go. We'll take all this stuff. The woods will swallow you whole. Okay. Swallow me whole, yeah. All right, that was that was a bit that was a bit much. Okay, let's go. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a child doll. Okay, so there's probably going to be another um, poem around here somewhere, maybe. Hopefully. Check out here on the dock. Ammo. Another oh, right here. One of those rhymes. Cool. Okay. The old fisherman had great luck. His catch at sea was beyond belief. But the hungry guest found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. The old fisherman had great luck. His catch at sea was beyond belief. The hungry guest found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. Old fisherman... Hungry guests. Who would the hungry guest be? I'm gonna look around a little bit more and see if there's any other dolls, because those ones don't really make sense. I think the old guy was the fisherman. But I could be wrong. But I'm gonna look around the rest of this because I haven't actually searched through all that yet. Um and see if there's any other dolls that I missed. Aha, here's one. Bear doll. Okay. Any others? Okay, so there's something back inside of this trailer here. What is this? Starlight Symphony. Hair covering logo. Does hair do this in space? 
What is rocket connected to? Move foot out for better silhouette. In space, no one can hear you sing. Make text big, maybe more eye-catching font choice. Comic book story idea. A literal space opera. A sci-fi musical with an alien love triangle. Murder mystery. Aliens meet rear window. Sunshine meets the sound of music. Musical parts drawn in black and white. Negative colors. Singing and rhyming. Rhyming is visual. Rhythm is visual. Break the fourth wall. Go all out. This is going to be my best work yet. Okay. Starlight Symphony. Okay. So we found the bear. So I feel like that's the other one that we're going to need. So the fisherman, maybe this. Then it found relief or... Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, and the fisherman's bountiful truck. Oh, damn. Oh, look at all the fish now. Okay. So the truck would... These are going to lead us right to it, isn't it? Yeah. Back off, Chungi. That's what I thought. Okay. So what is this one? a bigger charm bracelet. Yeah, you are. The town was fading! <laughs> oh, I missed. Don't don't re automatically reload. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's me. That's what you get. It automatically reloads after your second shot. What do you want? Listen, I just want to see what this charm bracelet's all about. Can I? Thank you. Okay. Is that it? Is that all of them? Sure hope so. Give me that back. We're going to need to drop off some stuff. I don't even know where that radio broadcast is coming from, but it's... <laughs> it's giving us the subtitle, so... Okay, that's fine. Um, increases quality and quantity of resources found. I don't really need that. We're finding plenty. We're finding plenty. Okay. So I'm going to head up. So there's a locked door here. We can't get in there yet. We need bolt cutters or something. Um, I'm going to head up here and check these out, see if I can get into those. Oh, hey, what's up? Thought I heard somebody behind me. Oh, he dropped two batteries. That's good. Okay. Yo, let's see if I can use this to get in here, this screwdriver. Yes, cool. So the ones back in, um, where was it? The other spot, the first spot we were at. Crap, uh, not Bright Falls. Uh, the other place, I forget. Anyway, there were some down there that we couldn't get into because of that. So now that we know. Okay. So this one, no, this one's just locked. Need yeah. The key. Yeah, I need the key for that. Okay. All right. So let me take a look again real quick. So I need bolt cutters there. There's a bolt cutters there. Locked door. Yeah. Just the crossbow bolts there, which I don't need. Um, there's a cult stash out here too. So we're going to grab that and then head back to Bright Falls. So there should be a cult stash out here, right? There's yeah, right there. Cult stash. Okay. The car one was too easy. Here's mine. There are three batteries, B1, B2, B3, which have a combined charge of 1600 amps. B2 has 120 amps more than B3. B1 has two times as much charge as B3. How many amps does B2 have? Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Okay, I'm gonna get a calculator real quick. So you got 1600 amps. B2 has 128 amps more than B3. B1 
B1 has two times as much charge as B3. So B1 equals two times as many as B3. B3 has 128 less amps than B2. Start this, divide that by three, 533. 128 amps more than B3. All right, we're so smart by the power of Google because my brain is not working. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Oh gosh, why do you, I have to take a math test to open a stash? What if I needed to get in fast? I can't do math in my head. I'm not Ada Lovelace. I miss getting, I miss dinner getting this thing open. It was family pizza night. <laughs> I'm right there with you, buddy. <laughs> right there with you. All right. <clears throat> Let's get back to Bright Falls and back to Alan. up your books come up you come up I've read them there are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me what happened to Alan Wake the unanswered mystery never expected to find you alive That's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <clears throat> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening, what will happen. Dreams, I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! FBI! We want the rider! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off! Child taken by the tide 